Hey guys, Tarek here. Today we're going to cover Photoshop's new generative fill AI feature that literally everyone is talking about. But in this introductory video, I'm going to show you specifically how to expand your canvas like this, 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 and this. As of right now, I find that this works much better on landscape photos. Now at the moment, if you do open up the latest version of Photoshop, the new AI feature isn't going to be available. To access the new AI generative fill feature, you need to go into Adobe Creative Cloud and download the beta version of Photoshop. It's super easy to do. Now to get started, I have a photo of Sparks Lake near Bend, Oregon already uploaded into Photoshop. I know it's dreamy, painting like edit already makes it look like it could be AI. So here's the raw photo for reference. First, unlock the background layer by clicking on this lock icon here. This will save your future self a headache when you realize you need a transparent background instead of a white one for this to work properly. Next, let's click on the crop tool and while holding down the option key on my Mac, I'm going to stretch this out a good amount. Here looks good to me. Then I'm going to double click. Now that we have the horizontal shape, I'm going to use the object selection tool to select the entire vertical photo. We need the dotted lines to wrap around the entire vertical photo like you're seeing on screen now. Here's an example of when that doesn't happen, and it's easy to fix this. Just grab the quick selection tool, and then increase the size of your brush with the right bracket key, if need be. Then just begin to brush any of the unselected areas or the entire photo, honestly. Just until the dotted lines wrap around the entire photo like this. The dotted lines will never expand into the transparent areas, so this should honestly take 5 to 10 seconds tops. Now back to our initial photo, on the new contextual taskbar that you'll only find in the beta version of Photoshop, we're going to click this very convenient tool to invert the selection we've made. Now that the transparent back background is selected instead of the vertical photo, all we have to do now to fill the entire canvas is click generative fill, and contrary to popular belief, we won't be typing in any prompts. Instead, we're just going to click generate and allow the AI technology to determine what's outside of the photo's borders. And there it is absolutely crazy and really easy to do. And this is just the beginning of how AI will be implemented into our workflows. And lastly, as you can see, it generates three options for you to choose from. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, guys. On the screen now is another recent AI feature that was added to Adobe Lightroom that is an absolute game changer in the low light photography game. If that's something you're interested in learning, I'll see you there.